Hi, my name is Onsta. I'm a freelance artist and illustrator, and today I'll be drawing Diva from Overwatch. Usually when I start drawing, I like doing the head first, which I know some people are like, you should draw the full gesture first, but you know, it helps me kind of like center everything and kind of sort my thoughts on what I want to be going on. What emotion do I want to feel from this drawing? Like what do I want to get across? And what this, I think we'll have D.Va doing a heart and wants you sketch the important things, like the general gesture in the place, then you can sort out everything else. I actually uh, drew a bunch of Overwatch art around the time that the game came out because I was just so excited since that um, there were so many colorful characters of like all different like races and sizes and ages. And I thought that was so cool since like a lot of games uh, don't have that kind of diversity, especially right off the bat. And I was like, wow, like there's this like really fun game that has like all of these different kinds of people. And I loved that. So around the time that the game came out, I just hit the ground running and started drawing a bunch of Overwatch art. And uh, the great thing about Overwatch and Blizzard is that they'll do a whole bunch of different skins and different like events for these skins. And you'll have so, like so many different takes on these characters that is just crazy like they'll launch an event and they'll be like this character has this skin and they'll show you a turnaround of it and it's just like it just hits you out of nowhere and it's so cool so when that would happen i would just jump on the chance to draw these characters because i was just so excited and i guess from that blizzard took note and they asked me to do some promotional work for them which was super cool and so i did a uh, promotional illustration for Arctic Fox Lucio for their most recent Winter Wonderland event back in December. It was so much fun since uh, Lucio, along with D.Va, is uh, one of my favorite characters. And so here I've started defining the facial features a bit. Usually this is a lot of uh, tweaking on my end as I as I go along. I think Diva's gonna look pretty mischievous in this one. I think that'll be pretty fun. We adjust the mouth a little bit. Usually when uh, giving characters these expressions, I like to give a feeling of liveliness within them. I feel like that's my go-to in my work. Like I love to express a colorful, and happy feeling when it comes to creating art. I draw a lot of inspiration from music, actually. When I was younger, well, for one, my parents uh, grew up in the age of Motown and disco. So when I was like a kid, they would play like all these very upbeat, wonderful songs. Like they would play The Temptations, they would play Stevie Wonder, they would play Sam Cooke, and it's like, I would always get this kind of like happy blue sky sort of feeling and like imagery from them even as a kid and that's always stuck with me even as I started creating art and so when I would like make pieces and even still now too I would look at these pieces that I've created and be like does this invoke the same kind of happy blue sky feeling that like I would get when I would listen to this music and if I felt that it did, then that would be a personal success in my book. And I just feel like it's a very, it just makes me super happy every time I create. For the longest time, I wasn't very confident in my traditional work because I primarily work digital. And I found that uh, 
it just naturally will come to you in time as long as you're like honing your skills in some way i feel like it will transfer over so if there's anyone worried that oh i only draw digitally or i primarily draw digitally because you know you like what you like then don't worry everything will be okay i feel like my ultimate goal as an artist which might sound kind of silly is to kind of just express a very blue sky sunny day sort of feel with my work so when you look at it you get the feeling of like optimism and hope. I feel like having a goal like that feels easier to achieve than say, oh, I want to be this successful or oh, I want to have my work in in this place. I feel like it's it's healthier and I also feel like it's like a nice self-indulgent kind of like goal to have. Because as long as you're making yourself happy with your work, then you're doing stuff right. A lot of my supplies are kind of bought by like, sort of kind of impulse. Like I'll be out and I'll see like an amazing set of like Japanese inking pens. And I'm like, oh snap, I really want to try those. And so uh, I'll get them. But I found for at least the past year or so, like this, uh, Mangaka Flexible Fine Pen is really nice. It's apparently by Zig Cartoonist. It's a brush pen, but it's like very firm and you can do different varying widths with it. And I, I really like it. One of the hardest things, but also one of my uh, favorite things as well, when I was drawing uh, the promotional Snow Fox Lucio skin, was that Lucio has a bunch of details in his armor. I honestly have not drawn a lot of detailed armor characters before. So that was like a intimidating challenge, but also incredibly fun. I really like discovered uh, some new limits for myself. You can say like, oh, I drew all the details and stuff like that. And you drew it alongside the reference. But if it's not in like perspective correctly, it won't look right. So I had to keep that in mind while uh, drawing the skin. And I'm very glad that like it came out well. Overwatch has a lot of um, like characters with like armor and like futuristic prosthetics, which is super cool. And it's like a really good aesthetic. But when drawing them, it can be like, oh, oh, there's this part and this part, for example, Diva, of course she has her uh, giant mech, which has its own set of details. But her plug suit is actually pretty cool and not as complicated as like they get. But also Diva just has like a super cute design, so I'm always happy to draw her. But Overwatch definitely has like some full on robots. That's like, hey, if you wanna draw these robots, you're in for a time, buddy. I think one of the most amazing things about being a part of the Overwatch community is seeing like so many different artists like show their takes on like its incredible and large uh, amount of characters. You'll see them like portrayed in so many different ways and it's so inspiring and so cool. I personally relate to Lucio a lot, which is why I drew him for the uh, promotional work and it was just an amazing opportunity. I love creating like interesting visual shapes uh, when it comes to clothing folds and such, especially uh, in the inking stage. It's like a little improv here and there, never hurt anyone. One thing I've also found when it comes to just being an artist in an internet space is just drawing what you love is the best way to go about things. Cause like, when you're drawing what you love, it really shows in like your work. It's so pure and just like so wonderful. I've always found like making work and making sort of like showing my appreciation to 
people whose work I enjoy. It always feels like giving back to me, I guess, because it's just like their work has made me so happy and has really made positive impacts in my life. And so I'll like make something to kind of like show my appreciation a bit. And then they'll be really happy about it. And then it, I just feel like I'm really glad that even for like this brief moment, I could possibly make you as happy as you've made me. So it's just like a really nice sense of like community that can be had from just being self-indulgent and like showing people that you admire their work and you admire what they're doing. I'm going to make Eva's antenna actually go up a bit more on this side. Because there are no mistakes, only happy little accidents. Actually, I'll color these in. So now I think I will get to erasing the under sketch. And I personally think it might be, it'll be all right if uh, some of the under sketch sticks around because I like that rough feeling of it. And with the grayscale, it'll still look pretty good. Like I feel like often I'll still add in details here and there for uh, the character in the inking stage because sometimes you just feel the little urge to be like, oh, I can punch this up a little bit, even if you're supposed to be like nailing details down. All right, I think Diva's ready for some grayscale. I love using Copics for grayscale because they're just, you can be as light or as heavy with them as you want and you just go with the flow. It's so nice. They also have really nice, like, warm and cool tones of grays that I've found are just, like, so, so good. I love to leave just, like, little spots of white. I feel like it, it leaves, like, a nice suggestion of, like, highlight and also just, like, just, like, a really traditional sort of feeling, I suppose. And I think, actually, to uh, keep building in the contrast, I'll go in further with the black and have blacks and grays with this. Also, as you can see, I don't go straight to the to the border or the edge. I kind of just like have a sort of like white barrier between everything because I personally really like that uh, that look. I feel like it kind of like emphasizes what's going on. And then a little sign off for Diva. Her key catchphrase. My name is Onsta and I drew Diva from Overwatch. <laughs>